Hi, my name is Alana Kaivalya. The crown chakra is known as Sahasrara chakra, which means thousand petaled lotus. The myth that goes behind this particular name is that the thousand petaled lotus blooms only once every 100 years. So it's really rare that this chakra energy open up and become connected. It kind of goes with the old saying that one in 1,000 people will seek spiritual wisdom and one in every those, one out of every those thousand will find it. So the fact that you are interested in what the chakras are and how they work speaks a lot for your connection to yourself as well as to your spiritual path. This chakra doesn't have any associated planets or deities because it's beyond all separation, it's beyond all language, it's beyond any kind of definition we can give it. This chakra represents the beyond the beyond, or numinous energy, energy without quality. So it reminds me of Rumi's poem, um, and I believe this is the Coleman Barks translation, where he says that out beyond the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field. I will meet you there. So this is kind of what's happening in the seventh chakra, because at this point, there's no separation between us and them, between me and you, between anything. When our consciousness rises to this level, we feel and we know ourselves to be intimately connected with all that is. Essentially, we are plugging ourselves into the source, getting charged up, if you will, similar to the way that you might plug in your phone at night to recharge it. We tap in to a consistent flow of energy that comes from somewhere up there. In yogic terms, it comes from the source or what we know as Brahman. But in yoga, what's really nice about this practice is that it doesn't have necessarily any specific investment in what you call it or how you identify with it. It just asks you to identify with it and to connect with it. So the terms, the language is up to you because right now we use language and terms to try and describe this experience of oneness or what the yogis would call enlightenment. Now, I don't want you to think that this is a totally inaccessible thing. And I know I started out by saying how exclusive and special this level of consciousness is, but really it's not that special. It's not that different. Accessing this level of consciousness gives us an experience of what we call bliss. And we have all experienced bliss, all of us. At some point when we've seen a beautiful sunset or we've witnessed a beautiful piece of art or we've fallen in love for the first time in those moments where we are just completely stopped by the beauty and awe of what's around us, we are experiencing bliss. We are experiencing this chakra's energy. That's not hard. What's hard is making this sustain is making this experience of bliss last so the more that we engage in our yoga practice the more that we do our meditation the more that we check in the more that we do our yoga practice the more we engage in meditation the more that we check in with ourselves the more that we create the condition for this state which is our natural state we are always connected we just forget the more that we create the condition for this natural state to arise so we just want to get out of our own way. And as we get out of our own way, we find that this connection is always present, that we always have this source energy that we can tap into. Now, this isn't, this isn't a weird, otherworldly concept. Many people from all different walks of life feel charged up and express this in different ways, whether it be this enlightenment sense or nirvana or this sense of bliss, however they call it, you can access it. In today's language, we call it the state of flow. So if you want to get to your flow state, the state where things feel like they're just working, where time starts to slip away, where you feel completely connected to who you are and what your purpose is here, this is the key. So we get to this place through meditation mainly, through focusing on our bliss. But remember, we can always check in here. We can always do as we do and listen to the messages that we are meant to receive from these, from these energy centers. So close your eyes and let's do this. Let's connect. Focus on the breath. Turn your attention to the crown of the head. 
Give yourself the time and the space to check in with source, whatever that is for you. And then if you don't have a definition for it, it's no problem, just check in. And ask for whatever message you need to receive today to come through. Allow yourself to be receptive, allow yourself to be open, and as always, allow yourself to tune in to the wisdom of the chakras.